The staff at Hale Farm and Village gave a sneak peek February 24th at preparations for the annual Maple Sugar Festival, which will be March 14th, 15th, 21st, and 22nd. We've hit this side really good. We've got this tree flowing with sap. We start seeing almost like water come out of here. It's maybe start to wet. And we put this on here. And Jason, I'm going to refer to you. you we would let this sit overnight. We're just. Yep. Okay, and this would be to keep any rain element or any elements out of there. And then you come in the morning and start seeing um, the bucket full. And then take it away and take it to the evaporator and uh, maybe if it's far enough, get another bucket on it. And how many trees, how many of these could we tap? We tap 40 a year. 40, okay. 40 a year. Now you can see some previous holes in these beforehand, but uh, again, actual trees that uh, will, that's kind of, uh, hopefully we can put them in the trees and see the sample. Later, we were invited to Hale's Sugar House to learn from Jason Klein how maple sap is made into syrup and sugar. This is the finishing box. So, as the maple syrup gets to be about 212 degrees and the sugar concentration gets up to about 66%, then it's time to draw that liquid off of there and it comes out a golden brown color as maple syrup. Hmm. 212 how long does the process take? It takes about six to eight hours to make one gallon. So it takes all day to get one gallon of maple syrup. That's constantly chucking wood in there. <laughs> yeah. So we're constantly feeding the fire. We go through about a half a cord of wood per day to make one gallon of maple syrup. And, and generally speaking, for the season, for the sugaring season that we do at Hale Farm, um, we go through anywhere from five to seven cords of wood just for this 